What's up, people? Today, again, I normally get my inspiration from whatever I'm going to do on my show. From while I'm actually out doing stuff, I'm out watching a little soccer tonight. I want to bring you something because I had somebody that brought up an issue that they were having and it dealt with a religious aspect. Now, tonight, I'm not going to give you a court case. But I am going to give you a couple of nuggets that will go into, and I'll later go into the Supreme Court cases that go with this particular episode. The thing is, on this one, it is a First Amendment issue because the First Amendment reads, Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof. Now, in understanding what that means, it's the fact that you have people that are going into public spaces that are being required to, and I do mean required, to take off religious aspects, such as medallions. I wear um, a chain often. I don't know if you can see it. But there are times I have to remove it, or I'm asked to remove it. Now, understanding the totality of it is they cannot ask you to remove a religious garment without cause even when you're going into an area that is semi-restricted but most definitely when it is a place of public access when you're talking about that it becomes a religious prosecution even if they are security officers which most of the time these are where you're having those issues because you have to understand they're just employees they are not law enforcement. They generally have no idea what the hell they're doing. But I'm going to give you what establishes a religious practice or exercise in the, in the context of the Constitution. Part of a religious belief system that is established in the Supreme Court is one, rituals. A ritual can be as simple as praying. A ritual can be something as simple as the way you sit. A ritual can be something that is done on a daily basis. No one can define what that ritual is or is not. Two, ceremonies. Ceremonies will be your gatherings. Again, your practices, your behaviors, like even a Sunday school or meetings. Those are ceremonies. And then when you look at what where I get into it most of the time is when they call totems or religious or iconic symbols. Symbolism is done with a cross. Symbolism is done with head wraps. Symbolism is done with even garments of clothing. Now, understanding those cannot be removed or asked to be removed without cause. And that's what's happening a lot. Just understand, I'm doing this tonight. If you fall into that category where they're asking you to remove garments and you're in a public setting, this is a religious act that is being violated. It is defined under religious persecution. It is a civil rights violation. I wanted to get that out tonight, make it kind of quick, kind of simple, but just to let you know, these are things that are going on on a daily basis, and this is something that we need to get a handle on. So, for right now, that's it. I appreciate everybody that's donating. I appreciate everybody that's helping us grow, and the podcast will be out. Just download it on your major platform that you listen to. So, Supreme Decisions, until next time.